Welcome to Pulverostmannen and today we are going to talk about tubes. If you have seen my previous video on this amplifier here, you will know about how it looks on the inside and everything about the functions and everything on it. But I have made a few minor changes on this amplifier since last time. And uh, one is one extra slot here. I put it an extra socket to make it compatible with even more tubes. All these three sockets here are uh, parallel coupling, so you can just uh, swatch swap them out, put another tube in there and it will play right out of the box. I have also put a switch here, which I'm gonna show you on the schematics what it does and why it's there, but it has to do with the pre-amplifier output. You will, uh, there is an re audio return wire that comes from the output transformer that goes back to the second stage of this pre-amplifier tube and it alters the sound. So I can switch it off or on, make it possible to make the sound a bit different and even work better with the uh, pre-amplifier output if you're going to play it with some uh, old radio or maybe that one over there. So, if I would switch this button here, the sound would go a much lighter and more tweeter and everything here. And with it in the other position, it will sound uh, warmer and richer and more in control when using this uh, power um, output pen tool here. So it is playing around with this uh, amplifier. And I have recently hooked them up to this uh, Klipsch Reference Premier 150M speakers. And uh, they are very nice. They are still breaking in, so they need some more time before they will sound absolutely perfect, but they are really good speakers. So I'm gonna demonstrate a bit more about how the sound from this little amplifier can be on a good set of speakers. So we can have a look at the schematics here. I have furthermore made it as close as possible to the, uh, the actual build. So there is a signal in, goes through a capacitor into the first stage of the ECC83 or other pin compatible tube. The volume control has been changed afterwards and uh, it's grounding through a resistor to make this 100k pot to work with uh, the full range without anything good or bad happens. So this uh, it's just grounding some of the signal and uh, this other one, if you go straight down to the zero, the volume is on zero and no sound comes through. But if you would turn it up to the maximum, the, the value would be too high. So this 12K resistor will keep it in control so the sound will not get distorted or bad in any way. After the second output stage, there is a capacitor for the pre-amplifier output and it works great with the old tube radios and everything like this. So it's very useful. Then it goes through another capacitor to the EL84, which I choose to use. Uh, I have a Russian replica that is inserted in the tube amplifier right now. And here is the output transformer. It has a switch to play with the internal speaker here. And it also has this external speaker output. And then this has the audio return that goes through a 22K resistor and uh, plays around with the bias of the other side of the ECC83. So if you turn this one off, the sound will not go back and alter the sound and then it will make the pre-amplifier output get through without any modification and the sound will be much, much better. I also added a little extra here to reduce hum in the circuit. To begin there is a 10 microfarad capacitor and then a 10 ohm, 10 watt resistor and then a 22 microfarad capacitor and so on. So it reduces some of the hum in the circuit. 
So that's uh, pretty much it. It's based on the Fender Champ that you can find on the internet. But uh, you will probably see here that it is pretty massively modified to work the way I want it to work. So what tubes can I use in this then? Well, for pre-amplifier stage I could put in this 1287 tube will give a much more hi-hats and everything not so much round and good bass I could also put in an ECC82 it's pretty much the same as the ECC83 but with much lower gain so we need to crank up the volume much more for it to sound as loud as possible as amplifier tubes EL90 7 pin they could be inserted there and this lot over there it's not as powerful as this uh, big tube here that's uh, pretty much the same as the EL84 but I could put one EL84 in and I could also put this 6N1N tube also a replica of uh, a Russian tube and it goes in the tube on the back there so it has uh, pretty much tubes that you could just dunk in there and it will play very good with all of them but I find the combination of the ECC83 and this tube here I'm gonna see if I can read it we'll just see which one it was there we have it name is 6N14N and I really like the sound of this one so this is how I would like to use it in uh, overall but I could also use it for testing other tubes and the rectifier tube here is uh, EC81 it could also be an EC80 or other pin compatible rectifier tube so let's make a sound check shall we I'm gonna put it over there on this uh, tripod on the sweet spot I have a speaker over there too so it's uh, playing in mono but uh, at the same time the song will get pretty much nice when you have it in this uh, position here so I'm gonna play this here turn off the volume or song
there you have it. I hope it can get uh, as close as possible to the uh, actual sound because I it will never be the same as the real sound but I hope you get the point. And uh, down here we have this uh, pre-amplifier output. So I could just uh, put a radio here. Put it in over there. Put it to the zero. Turn off the audio return. And I could go over to this Philips radio here. Turn it on. And we, it will play audio through this pre-amplified output. another video of this radio only a little closer because I have recently fixed that one and uh, we can go over here and uh, put inside this one instead the radiolo here I am still waiting for uh, one external power output pentode for this one so I can hopefully restore it to the full glory of sound so soon but it uh, still sounds pretty good as it is now, so... ...with a mighty aura of magical color. Magical. You dream to be free and to be able to stretch your arms out to the forgiving light of mystery and to live by no other means than freedom, peace and forgiveness. So, I hope you enjoyed this moment of tubes and the love for it. Who can ever th think about some vacuum filled uh, glass envelopes with uh, metal parts and stuff inside can make so much sound. If you like, thumb the video up, subscribe my channel and also if you like the music, check out my music channel and support me over there, which name is Power Toast Music. So, have a nice day and uh, we see you next time. Goodbye. Potatoes. Nobody touches.
is my potatoes.